In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up AG Grid Enterprise inside an existing React project. As a starting point, we're going to use this example on the left hand side. It's a very basic AG Grid community setup. We have row data, column definitions, a default call def, and we're loading data remotely in this use effect. Now, if we look at the package.json, you'll see that this project is using AG Grid Community and AG Grid React, which is what we would expect when using the community version of AG Grid. Now, let's install the AG Grid Enterprise package. We'll go to our console and install it using npm install. Because of specified save, it will update our package.json. So let's go back to our IDE, and you'll see here now that our package.json has three entries, AG Grid Community, AG Grid Enterprise, and AG Grid React. All three are needed if you're going to use AG Grid Enterprise with React. AG Grid Community contains all of the core free features of AG Grid. AG Grid Enterprise contains all of the enterprise or paid for features of AG Grid. If you're using Enterprise, you still need Community. None of the features are copied across into Enterprise. They work alongside each other. And then AG Grid React is the React rendering engine. Now let's start our app backup and go back to our application code. Now before any code, notice on the right hand side here, when I right click, it's the normal browser context menu. And when I go to a column, the menu shows the filter. This is going to change when I put AG Grid Enterprise in. So let's go to the top of the file and import AG Grid Enterprise and hit save. And that's it. That's all you need to do to get AG Grid Enterprise working. You'll see now on the right hand side when I right click, it's a rich menu that appears. Also, when I go to the column, it's a much nicer menu that's presented here. We've also got the filters. We've also got column management. Those things just happen automatically, but just lots of extra cool enterprise features now that I can turn on. So let's have some fun with a few just to give you a taste. The first I'll show is row grouping. If I go down to the column definition for country and put in row group and say true, we can see now that the rows have been grouped by country. Or we can put row group onto another column, year as well as country, and now we can see that the rows are grouped by country and then year. Or suppose you wanted the user to group by whatever column they wanted using the grids UI. To do that, we'll remove row group here from the two columns. And we'll put enable row group onto all columns through the default column def. Remember, setting a value in the default column def is a way of applying that property across all of the different columns. Now we just need to tell the grid to expose the drop zone for the columns for grouping. And that's done with the property row group panel show and set it to always. Now if we refresh our view, we'll see that the drop zone has appeared on the top here. And I can drag any column into the drop zone to group by that column. There are tons and tons of enterprise features. This video isn't going to go through them. If you want to see what they all are, go to the website, go to our documentation, and you'll see that all the enterprise features have an E beside them. If you see this E symbol, it means that feature is only available in AG Grid Enterprise. If you want to use AG Grid Enterprise in your application, then you need to get a license key from us. And if the license key is missing, you'll get this error message in your dev console. The grid will also show a watermark showing that it's not licensed if your application is running on anything other than localhost. But don't let the warning message or the watermark scare you away. It is free to trial AG Grid Enterprise. So please download it, build sample apps, put it into your own app and see what you think. If you don't want the warning message or the watermark to appear during your trial, then get in touch and we'll give you a trial license key. Just email info at aggrid.com. And when you've made the decision that AG Grid Enterprise is right for your app, then again, please get in touch, info at aggrid.com, and we'll happily sell you a license key.